conference. I've been to others on a national level and state level, and by far, I would say this is one I have benefited from the most. Um, this has been a fantastic conference. I have learned so much that I can take and actually put into use uh, in my rural libraries and even with the larger city libraries in my system because these ideas will transfer. librarians from all over this country who had similar issues and problems than I did. Not only did I meet a lot of nice people at this one, but I was able to connect with some old friends who I haven't seen in a while. I'm so among my people. I found my tribe. Uh, I feel very isolated sometimes because I'm in a single person branch. When you're trying to come up with programming for all age groups and do all your other work, you just feel like nobody understands. That's been one of the biggest benefits, chatting with all kinds of fun people who are in the same exact boat that I'm in. The presenters have been amazing. The displays are awesome. I'm overwhelmed by good ideas, which is a good problem to have. The thing, you know, even when the sessions aren't going, you know, we're sitting there, our table this morning, it was like six different states, you know, and so that was pretty cool. so full of energy and so full of ideas and I can really feel that that has translated into my programming and my interaction with the patrons. People talk the talk and walk the walk here. This is where it's at if you're a smaller rural library. So this has been an awesome experience. Learned a lot, had a whole lot of fun, and I cannot wait to go to Fargo next year and to do it all over again. Hi, I'm Jack Bullfoot, president of ARSL for 2015-2016. Fargo Moorhead, we will be north of normal. I can't wait for the next year's conference. I'm coming no matter what. This has been one of the best conferences that I have ever attended, and I thank you for myself. So come and join us. I'm looking forward to Fargo, North Dakota. Because this is the conference. Welcome to West Fargo, north of normal.